Hello, a warm welcome to all the viewers of my video and the listeners. Uh, maybe you just only don't watch, but you also listen to what I have to say. First of all, I want to thank all my subscribers to my YouTube channel because uh, some week ago I reached uh, more than a million views on my videos, which to me is important because that means that uh, the things that I have to say and that I have to share in, on my channel seem to be important to some people, otherwise I wouldn't have a million views in three years that I've been busy uh, doing videos and uh, this kind of videos I'm only, only doing for a year now, about now, so it seems that I have uh, something to say that is important for many people and some maybe have even been waiting for my next video, which I have already planned for several weeks but I didn't get to it because I was making uh, more radio shows on talk show with friends of mine and um, this is a regularity that comes back and the point is that on these radio shows we do uh, broadcasts for two or three, three sometimes even almost four hours and um, there I can say a lot more than in these 15 minute videos but this video that I'm making right now is only to promote the radio shows because there I go into deep discussion and not only me but also my friends Tom Fress from the website Inquisition Update and Wayne Michael from the website Avenue of Light um, and uh, Michael Adams who is the host Mahershal on the uh, on the radio and um, the discussion that we are doing there or the, the subject that it's all about is um, what this video is uh, all about and that is the so-called 10-point plan by Alice Bailey for a new world order. Um, this is actually taken from her book The Externalization of the Hierarchy. This is a very very important uh, subject for everybody to study who wants to of course, it's no obligation but I can assure you you can learn a lot of it. Um, several weeks ago I watched a video from uh, the YouTube channel The Forerunner, uh, whose work I very much appreciate. And he did a video on the so-called Ten Commandments uh, that are situated in the United Nations. And um, I watched the video a few times and then I started my research on that and uh, because of that uh, we did this radio show and uh, the two links to the radio shows are of course in the description box of this video. So, if you're interested in the subject, please click on the links and listen to the radio show. You can listen online, you can download it and listen to it whenever it suits you. Um, it will also stay online and maybe in future broadcasts we even come back. In the meantime, I will play the video that um, the forerunner made, without text of course, because I'm making my text. And um, this will give you an idea what it is all about. Um, in the discussion, in, in, the, in the radio show, we go a lot further than just these ten uh, points, these devilish points uh, Alice Bailey may mentions in her book. We also go into the background of Lucifer's Trust, that was actually founded in 1922 under the name of Lucifer's Trust, by Alice A. Bailey, who was... Uh, um, very close connected to Helena Petrova Blavatsky. She was the foundress of uh, theosophy, a fusion of theology and philosophy. And um, well, they have uh, been busy in being founders of the New Age and of course of uh, the devilish or satanic agenda that rules this world. And there are these ten points all about. It's all about destroying Christianity. And um, these ten points you will, uh, you can follow here on the video right now. Are in the first place, um, take God and prayer out of the education system. And especially my American brethren will remember 1963, when uh, the morning prayer was taken out of the school system. And why did they do that? Well, that's um, actually not so hard to guess. But when you get God out of school and make him irrelevant in people's lives, even many who believe in him, uh, little, little thought or thanks 
through much of uh, of their lives. So um, when you even st start or better stop teaching God and God's values in school for the children who are like a sponge to absorb knowledge and wisdom that is given to them, well then you can introduct uh, in, in indoctrinate everything that you want into them. So that was the first point. The second point was that the family unit uh, had to be destroyed and the family unit has been severely disrupted and there's a great deal of disrespect and disobedience to parents. Discipline is becoming increasingly rare and children are raised to be selfish and bratty. Uh, we go to the next point that is already the third so-called satanic commandment uh, that is to promote sex. Sex is promoted all over society with revealing clothes and constantly sexy images it's only getting worse and there seem to be no limits anymore. Well, if you think of the, th of the day as today where sodomy is um, practiced and uh, not only practiced but even legalized everywhere. Sodomy, somebody, uh, some people call it homosexualism, I call it sodomy, um, is uh, surely forbidden in the Bible. And it's not biblical, of course not. So when the... Uh, when the uh, when the achievement is to put God out of the equation, then you have to teach everything that is uh, against the Bible. And, um, you know, when you have free sex, that everybody can do it, when men can have sex without any consequences, then also, also they should take care about that women can have also sex without any consequences. By that, of course, um, we have the discussion of the uh, anti-conception pill. But the problem is with the anti-conception pill, that is something that I learned in one of the broadcasts that I had with, um, uh, with our friend Tom Fress, and the link is of course in the description box of the video, it's the second link to the, uh, the second radio show link. Um, he said that the uh, anti-conception pill does not prevent conception, it just prevents the uh, nourishing of the fetus. And that is then later, well, getting away with, uh, with the menstruation. But uh, as a Christian, if you are a Christian at least, then you believe that life starts at conception. But the anti-conception pill does not prevent conception. It just prevents that the concepted egg then will hatch to the womb and will develop into a child and into a full living baby. Actually, so that means that when you take the anti-conception pill, you kill babies. And that is a thing, of course, that a lot of Christians could not live with if, if they knew it, but uh, there seems to be not the right information out there to the people. So, you see, uh, anti-conception pill is also killing. And that is, of course, something that the hierarchy, let's call it that way, because we are talking about the externalization of the hierarchy here, based on uh, Alice Bailey's book, and she is the one on the uh, right, I mean, uh, yeah, left, not the one with the head hold, uh, hold, hold up by her hand, <laughs> right, left, depends on what angle you look at it, uh, to me it is, uh, yeah, anyway, you see, the point is, um, they are taking, uh, they are trying to take God out of the equation wherever they can, and um, they do that with the help of these ten points that they say we have to take God out of the school, we have to break up the family unit as the smallest unit that holds up a nation, uh, we have to break down the morals of the people because, you know, Christianity is all about uh, purity and love, but uh, sex is, is more than that. Yeah, we all know that since uh, Tina Turner sang her song, Love's got, uh, What's Love Got to Do With It? You know, just analyze that and you will see that sex has nothing to do with love. That is our modern standpoint that has nothing to do with the biblical standpoint anymore. And I don't want to judge if that's right or wrong, but if you're a Christian, you can make up that for yourself, I think. So, um, sex is an impression and appreciating life debasing with adultery, fornication and bestiality and the ultimate expression of lust. You know, uh, here in Europe, in, in Denmark, for example, bestiality is legal. That means their sex with animals is illegal. 
that far it has come already. Whether you can believe it or not, I don't care. Just look it up for yourself. And that is also something that I want to say about this video. Don't take my word for it. Do your own research. And I present a lot of links that you can do your own research based on what, I'm, uh, what I have to tell here right now. So, um, these 10 points will be discussed in the two broadcasts, but with a lot and lot and lot more than, like I said, I can just give you here in this 15 minutes, a lot more research behind that about Lucifer's, uh, Lucifer's Trust, they changed its name then to Lucifer's Trust, about the connection that to the United Nations and about the who is, control, who is control, in control of the United Nations, like uh, the Knights of Malta organizations, papal knighthoods, and of course the Jesuits who are all behind that. And uh, we are now already here looking at point 7 and point 8. Use the media. Well, I don't have to tell any awake Christian about what the media is all about. Um, that is quite obvious. I think everybody knows that very well. And who controls the media? Well, that's again the Knights of Malta and behind that there are the Jesuits. If you think it is the Jews, you are on the wrong foot. You just haven't studied enough to understand that it's not the Jews. They are just put in the front. It's the same with, uh, and uh, you can compare these points if you have ever heard of the uh, the Protocols of the Learned Elders of Zion. That is also a forged document, forged by the Jesuits, to blame the Jews. And we are, according to, uh, to the Bible, now living in the time of the Gentiles and not in the time of the Jews. So behind all these Jews the Jesuits put out there, believe me, and don't believe me, research it for yourself, <laughs> there are Gentiles in the form of papal uh, knighthoods, for example, like the Knights of Malta, SMOM, where I also did uh, radio shows on. So if you uh, have a look at um, the website of Talkshoe Radio that I will provide in the links, not just the two broadcasts, but the main page, you will see broadcasts that we did under the name of a conversation with Jogler 66 and um, there are two broadcasts where I go very deeply into uh, the Jesuit connection to uh, the Sovereign Military Order of Malta or the SMOM as it is so called and what and how do they control the whole world and uh, I will see that I even put the links on there in this video too but first of all, I want to see when you now, uh, I want you when you just now saw these Ten Commandments that it a little bit um, waked your interest in, uh, I want to learn more about that. So I can really just ask you, uh, go to the uh, links of the broadcast, listen to the radio broadcast that I had with Michael and uh, the one that I had with Tom and with Wayne. And also for future uh, interests, uh, we will continue with these broadcasts and you have the possibility to log in uh, into this broadcast as a guest. Uh, you can um, participate by chatting while we are broadcasting. Um, you can even uh, jump in and ask us uh, if you can participate uh, with an open mic. It's all possible. We are open for everything and um, we just want to promote the truth, uh, the talk show is called uh, Nothing But The Truth. That's the name that Michael shows for that and I think it is quite an ideal name. And um, I also think that we did a very good broadcast. At, at least I was, spe was speaking much better there than I'm doing right now in this video. I don't know why I'm so nervous, but anyway. <laughs> um, I thank everybody for not only watching this video, but also for giving me this one million views, and I hope that I made a little bit of an impact in some people in their lives. That is the whole idea that I was starting this YouTube channel about, and uh, I'm very thankful for people listening and uh, starting to wake up in these end times and see uh, what deception we are er every day confronted with. So. I thank you very much for listening to the video and I thank you even more for if you are going to check out the link to the radio shows and listen to that and you can always feedback on something that you listen to on the radio show via personal message uh, via YouTube or of course by commenting here on this video that you have here right now. The externalization of the hierarchy 
and uh, how the Ten Commandments of Satan are inbound into the United Nations. So thank you very much for listening and I hope until the next time it won't be that long that I take another video on, maybe next week or some behind that. Okay, thank you everybody for listening, bye bye and God bless.